work at Taylor Hawk Farms. Uh, been employed here for 12 years. We raise Highland cattle, uh, peacocks, guineas, bees. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. We, uh, everything is done on farm, all organic, uh, no grain feed, all just cubes for treats and training purposes. Well, I came into it pretty green, but this was my employer's dream is to raise these cows. And But 12 years of getting to know them, they are by far an exceptional breed. Very, very docile. The meat is so good. And I see where the niche in the market is for the meat. You know, it, it is a totally different flavor than, you know, just say your typical homegrown steak. You know, it's got a different flavor than your store, of course. But, but this is a total different taste and it's got its own little, little niche. But when I worked here, I'd never heard of, when I started here, I'd never heard of these cows. And most people around here, I don't think had either. It's Angus or Hereford around here, you know. But they are marketed because of they are so much leaner than any other cow. Uh, I've got a chart here that uh, anything, a rump row, shoulder, sirloin, and all other cuts it's given examples of. And it's half the fat, uh, half the cholesterol, if, if not two thirds less the cholesterol than all your other beef production meats. Uh, higher in protein, higher in iron. So in 1854, the herd book was established and we've had some cows here that could be traced back to the original Queen's herd that came over here. They brought them over here into Canada and then, and then down. They brought them into Texas, marched them up the trail into Colorado and they established here in America. Uh, American Highland is the, the herd book that we belong to. Every cow that we have is registered through them. They trace them back and every every sheet that you get back from it tells the DNA sequence, uh, all their lineage. You can trace them all the way back to Noah's Ark if you want to, I believe. We run a closed herd, which means we don't bring in any new animals. You check your records and you can see who mom and dad is, who aunt and uncle, and you move them over to another pasture after they're weaned and that's the bull that they'll be with. The, the breed speaks for itself as far as their genetics. The American Highland keeps up with all that. You can research it better than you can research uh, any new car that you want to go buy. You know where it's been, know who had it, know how many calves it's had. They tell you everything. When you register it, all your information's there. 